we finally got an announcement from CW when our favorite DC comic shows are coming back. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we got a little update on the upcoming season of CW DC shows. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, make sure you get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away this copy of The Boys. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Well, last year, most of our favorite superhero shows got their seasons truncated, and this included many of the CW series. Since then, we found out which shows will be coming back, but we didn't have an exact release date. Now, typically, these shows come back in the spring, but for obvious reasons, production was delayed, and now many of them are dropping just after the first of the year. Let's take a minute to break down this upcoming schedule. The first CW show to return will be Batwoman, which returns January 17th at 8 p.m. Now, this show probably has the most interesting season premiere. It's not about the content, it's about the drama behind the scenes. Now, if you remember correctly, at the end of last season, we found out that Ruby Rose actually quit the show, and the character of Kate Kane was actually going to be replaced. Since then, Javica Leslie has been cast as Ruby Wilder. We've even got some peeks of her in the suit. And she's going to take over the role of Batwoman in the series moving forward. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you know this means some obvious changes to the storyline from season one. So it's more than a little bit curious where the cast and crew are going to take us. The second show to return to the CW on Monday, February 8th at 9pm will be Black Lightning. Now, the show first premiered in 2018, so this will be their fourth season. Now, the whole cast is set to return this season, with Cress Williams still in the lead as Jefferson Pierce. I think the biggest changes from last season was after his appearance in Crisis on Infinite Earth. This version of Black Lightning now is on the same Earth with the rest of the CW heroes. I highly expect some crossovers in the near future, if not with Jefferson Pierce with one of his daughters, Lightning or Blackbird. Now, the next two shows that return are both on February the 23rd. At 8 p.m., The Flash is back, and he's here for his seventh season. Last season's story was another one of those that was cut short, so I'm sure fans are ready for a little bit more of an expansive story. I can't lie, I've always loved Grant Gustin in the role, and I hope this season focuses a little more on him, and not so much on the supporting characters. The final DC show scheduled to return on that same night is Superman and Lois, which will give its series premiere at 9 p.m. Now, Tyler Coquelin has appeared several times on Supergirl, as well as in Crisis on Infinite Earth, as the Man of Steel, but this will be a full-fledged series. Now, we do know a couple of details about the show. We know it's going to be set in Smallville, we know he's going to be married to Lois, and interestingly enough, we know Superman will have two sons. So clearly, the showrunners are going to take us in a different direction. Now, the other CW shows are a little up in the air, but we can infer a few things. We did get confirmation from Lance Officer Stargirl Group that production has begun on the second season, so that show is definitely returning, probably in the spring. I've also read reports that Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow were scheduled to start production around the same time, but quite honestly, I have zero confirmation of that yet, so hopefully we get that news fairly soon. The third show that's up in the air is Green Arrow and the Canaries. Quite honestly, of all the shows on the CW, I suspect this may be the one show that we don't see. I've heard next to nothing since it was announced, and although there are some very, very excited fans out there, the number is fairly low, and I'm really unsure if CW is even going to move on this project. Quite honestly, the future of DC on CW is, to me, somewhat up in the air. Fans may become accustomed to what HBO Max is going to bring them, and it might create some sort of audience division or just drive fans over there drying up a couple of these shows. Obviously, once we have any details on any of the CW family shows, we're going to bring them to you right away. But I am a little curious. Do you have a CW show you're most excited for to see next season? And which CW show do you think is not likely to survive? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.